It's important to understand the difference between hemp and marijuana. Marijuana contains a THC level of over 0.3%. THC is the psychoactive part of marijuana that gives you the high. It develops in the flower of the plant and the concentration could go up as the plant matures. Hemp contains less than 0.3%, so it is not considered marijuana. Our local farmers wouldn't be growing marijuana, they would only be growing industrial hemp. We have a lot to learn about growing hemp because it, it was been illegal since the mid 40s and no one's done it in a very long time. So I suspect that there will be some hemp grown potentially even this coming summer, if not this following fall, um, on a more of an experimental basis and to start to learn how the crop uh, performs here in Yuma. The big question on every farmer's mind is, will growing hemp be worth it? One local farmer is giving it a shot. I think this whole industrial hemp program is gonna have to walk before it can run. Hemp is an expensive crop and the seeds are hard to come by. Farmers have to order them from places with similar climate to ours like in Egypt and Israel. And after all of that, the reward may not outweigh the risk. As you know, uh, any crop that you grow, if it's tested by the Arizona Department of Ag and it tests over 0.3% for the THC content, then you're gonna have to get rid of that entire crop. So if you bring a variety in that happens to perform in the desert to where it produces that THC content and you have a thousand acres, you're gonna have to get rid of that entire thousand acres. And, that, and it's, a, it's an expensive crop to grow, so it's a big risk for the farmers. But there's also the possibility that the crop could bring some real green into Yuma County. If uh, you know Yuma County becomes a source of production for industrial hemp, that's going to cause a lot of processors who wanted to you know invest in infrastructure here. Bring that's going to bring jobs. It's going to bring a lot of opportunities to the county. Um, so it, it could potentially be very beneficial, not just for farmers, but for the county at large. So how will the crop pass the test? First, hemp would have to work well in our climate. It would need to perform as a rotation crop between vegetable seasons. In the summertime here in Yuma, a lot of businesses suffer, and that's true for our farms as well. If industrial hemp being a, a summer crop uh, proves to be beneficial for the farm, then it's, it's gonna allow farmers to just thrive 12 months out of the year as opposed to five or six. You know, it's gonna be interesting. There's a lot of interest in the entire state uh, as there is in the country. I think for Arizona, um, so many of the other crops, especially the summer rotation crops in Yuma, um, are not the best price-wise. So I think growers are, are anxious to look at anything that might be a possibility and make sense for them. So what are we growing right here? So this is a Durham wheat crop. Uh, this is going to be produced for, for seed and we'll market this to our farmers next season. And do you think we could see industrial hemp replacing this crop one day? I don't think we'll ever see industrial hemp replacing wheat uh, because wheat can be grown and planted in, during the winter after the first vegetables come off, whereas industrial hemp will be planted a little bit later. What you will see is industrial hemp potentially replacing crops like cotton or hay and alfalfa. Uh, things that are a lot lesser value, have low commodity prices, but um, still have to be planted in the spring, which is the ideal time to plant industrial hemp. The hemp we could potentially see in Yuma would be used for things like CBD oil and fabric, but we're still in the early stages of seeing if industrial hemp can be grown here commercially. We're kind of uh, cautiously optimistic. You know, we're hoping that it certainly could become something viable for the Yuma growers. Uh, but, you know, we are cautious and, and realize that it's going to take some time for the, the, the market to develop and for the industry to develop within Arizona.